Are we good? Oh, perfect. All right, so um, we'll do introductions a little bit. We're going to do a quick roll call. Um, yes, I'm the secretary, right? Someone sounds it. Um, if you're here, please state your name. Great to see some folks in person and online. If you're online, we'd love to see your beautiful faces. Um, if you're able to turn your camera on. Um, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do attendance real quick to make sure we have a quorum. We have Denver Zuginger from here. Um, uh, Emma he Hazy, Hazy Judge, Paul Steiner. Here. Paul, I'm here. Awesome. Dr. Hill. Pranav. Shoot it. I'm here. Wonderful. Good to see you. Good to see you. Timothy Klein. Good it. Dini. Present. Awesome. Door. You. Sam is not on. And then we have Eddie. Yeah. Awesome. Hopefully, I think Emma should be joining us, so hopefully she'll be hopping on soon. Um, but if not correct, the Mary on 30% is all we need for a quorum? Yes, three people in person, yes. Okay, we are good then. A quorum has been established. Um, I would like to recognize a guest. Hello, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Janet Walker. I work in parking and transportation at George Mason. Wonderful. Are you joining? Do you think you're joining AGAC on, on behalf of uh, George Mason? Well, actually, I'm, I'm attending because Sam invited me. Oh, Sam nice. Well, good to have you. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, and Sam joins, too. Um, so an overview from last week, we have a bunch of paperwork to approve. Um, but before we do that, um, you all received the agenda. Are there any amendments? Hearing not of their motion to approve. Second. So move to second. All right, awesome. Uh, without objection, it is approved. Um, Miriam, on here we have a FOIA script, but we don't have a FOIA script, correct? Hi. I I don't believe we'll do the FOIA script today. Because we have the hybrid. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Saves me a bunch of oxygen. Do you like to introduce yourself? Oh, yes, sorry. Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Emma Heisey. And as of last meeting, our yes, vice chair. Yes, I am now the vice chair. Great. Um, the only uh, one thing before we go forward, um, just a notice if anyone is interested, we are still in need of a secretary. Um, so if anyone wants to be the secretary, please let me know, because I'm more than happy to fill in, but running meetings and talking and typing at the same time is not fun. So. All right. Um, everyone has the documents in front of them. Um, as we our last meeting, we just have to do a lot of procedural items with approving new policies. Um, are there any questions on the documents provided, which uh, we will start with the policies for um, remote participation. Is there any questions on the policy? Uh, Miriam, I know is an expert on this, so any questions or concerns? Okay. Maybe, um... Denver, it's it's Sujit. Uh, Miriam, do you mind just maybe taking like 30 seconds and just going over the kind of the prevailing uh, items of the remote policy just for, I, I've, I've gotten a chance to review it, but just so that the rest of the team has an understanding of it. Sure. So, um, I as of, as was stated in the in the last meeting's training, um, the remote participation of members policy governs how and um, the reasons 
why so a member of the council may decide to pro to participate remotely and it gives um, some restrictions on how many times you can use certain reasons associated with that. So for example, um, for personal reasons, it's either two or 25% of the meetings you're able to use that excuse to um, as a as a meet as a as an ex as an excuse or as a reason for not attending. Um, the other thing is that um, there are certain medical reasons um, and uh, other physical challenges or disabilities that you may have that you do not have to disclose under the policy. And for those reasons, you are able to participate remotely indefinitely. And so the remote participation of policy, um, remote participation of members policy governs how members may participate. OK, and is this just kind of a yak, yak specific uh, policy or is this governed to so this all is, Fairfax yeah. County? So this is a it's under it's um, so these policies have been drafted by the Office of the County Attorney. They gave us a template for the policy and um, we are under under the Virginia Freedom of Information Act. We are required to um, adopt the policy uniformly across the organization. The meaning Fairfax County as an organization, so it's, it will govern. Um, this one has been drafted specific, specifically for the YA Council, but it, it it there are the same policy will apply to all boards, authorities, and commissions. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions, concerns? Uh, yes, I have a quick question. Hmm. So if you attend the YA Council, so how many times do you have to attend and participate? Participate a lot of times, participate if you found a member, whether it's online or in person, is it mandatory? So um, you're expected to participate as, as many YAs as you can. I believe it's six or at least half of the yearly meetings. Miriam, I don't want to step on your toes if you know it's in our bylaws. Yes. Um, right. Frequency. Like, like how many strikes? Like how many strikes? If you miss three times or two times, or how many strikes are there? If you oh. miss them. So I mean, there is a removal process that's outlined again in the bylaws on page four. Um. So it's a two thirds vote. We only removed one person because they refused to show up after multiple calls and texts and emails in the supervisor's office, also texting and email. Um, so though uh, you have to come to half of the scheduled meeting with respect to the person, if you know life happens, we're a very understanding board. Um, that would be the only time we had to um, use the policy uh, because there's just no communication. So as you see in Article 6, it says half of the meetings, and then we have our removal process below. But per the um, joining virtually, you can join 25% um, or two meetings virtually. Yeah. So we meet, we meet every other month. Every month. Um, and then um, if you have like an outstanding conflict, as noted in the procedures, you may waived and allowed to join at all times. And you would have to disclose um, with specificity there are uh, the policy does state which ty which types of um, reasons will require you to disclose to Denver with specificity the reason why you are um, absent from the meeting. Did I answer your question? Yes, yeah, so where do we excuse or excuse? For example, if you get sick, it doesn't make a difference. And honestly, just keep in contact with us and don't worry about it. Yeah. You are fine. Just let us know in advance. Yeah. You're good. Maybe if I let you know, that would be a foul. If I let you know, it would be good. Yeah. It says communication. Absolutely. Yeah. Any other questions, concerns about the policy? All right, then we're going to go over to the motion before you all um, printed here and in the um, agenda oh, well, meeting items online. Um, I can just read verbatim so it's on the record. 
The motion is to approve the Young Adults Advisory Council's um, adoption of the Young Adults Advisory Council policy for remote participation of members, the Young Adults Advisory Council policy for all virtual public meetings, and the Young Adults Advisory Council for participating in meetings electronic communication. So those other two documents are on um, line with the documents. So if you all need a moment, does anyone need a moment to review them? You can say yes. All right, so per Virginia Code sections 2.2-3708.2A, um, 3 and 2.2-3708.3B uh, and C, the Young Adults Advisory Council must formally adopt written policies for all the virtual meetings, remote participation of its members and participation in meetings held by electronic means during declared state of emergencies, a motion and second, motion second a majority vote Present, a present and voting council members are required for the adoptions of these three policies. So that's the motion we will hear today. Any questions, concerns about the motion? And once again, any questions or concerns about the documents? We're all first, we're all good. Okay, good, good. All right, with that being said, I, your signature, your chair, moved that we adopt the Young Adults Advisory Council YAA policy for remote participation of members, Young Adults Advisory Council YAA Council, uh, Advisory YAA Council policy for all virtual public meetings, and the YAA policy for participation in meetings by electronic communications as written in the document of the same titles so as presented to you all tonight. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Is there any discussion? Second. All right, hearing no discussion, we'll go to the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any, Aye. Thanks. Um, any opposed? Well, no, everyone says an aye. No abstentions. So obviously uh, approved. Awesome. Okay. So that is done. We can officially now meet virtually. We can recommend this to the board and they have to then approve, right? No? No, I think you're done. Okay. That's it. Awesome. Um, so that goes to the fun stuff of how we want to handle work groups. So if you look at your bylaws, um, they are amended. Um, as before, we had the infrastructure, um, the pit and the toad committee, right? Um, due to definitions under existing BACs and Fairfax County committees have to be um, scheduled public um, meetings where work groups can be a little side hustle. Um, so we are hoping to do as a work group just to make our lives a little easier. Um, also in the bylaws, there's amendment um, under records starting on line 116 um, that puts more duty upon the secretary's hands um, because up until this point, We've had recorded minutes and proof of our meetings, but since we are in person, we'll have to have a little more um, of a paper trail um, than before, um, just to make sure we are staying in compliance. Uh, yeah, compliance. So, any questions about the bylaw amendments? I just wrote that. Janet Walker. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. Um, hearing no questions, is there a motion to approve the bylaw amendments? Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, it passes. 
All right, and then we get into the fun stuff. Now that we have a different structure for our now work groups versus committees is how we want them to function, what we want them to accomplish and all that great stuff. I think um, those who are newer, which is Judith and I are like OGs um, of the YAC. So that's very interesting. Um, we had high hopes um, starting with the um, committees. We originally had four. Um, getting down to very targeted areas. Um, as everyone I think experienced, Zoom burnout was real. Um, and folks were really excited beginning pandemic and then come you know, early 2021, they were exhausted. So we pivoted a little bit, um, brought it down to two. The, um, what does P stand for? Pub, pub, planning. planning, planning, infrastructure and transportation. Thank you. Yes. And then the, uh, and then transportation, no, uh, talent, outreach, outreach, and education. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, here we go. Uh, was a combination of those two with the hopes of looking at Fairfax County policies, practices, and having suggestions in which we can make the county more attractive um, to young people and to ensure that our views are being implemented um, at the county level, right, when it comes to specific policies and seeing the general Yak as like the approval body, the place in which we get points of you know information, um, and handle this wonderful paperwork here. Um, so that being said, I will put that out there. We still find a need and a purpose of work groups with breaking down issues. Or if we want to take a different like, okay, let me replace that. <laughs> All right, so with our current structure, we have two work groups, right? Many times in this past, sorry, then 2022, <laughs> many times yeah. in 2022, um, so when we uh, try to use the work groups, a lot of times they were combined due to lack of attendance, right? Um, so do we still find the power in having two separate work groups to look at Fairfax County policies, or shall we pull less into one? What do you think is the best structure and how we can best use our talents? I would maybe start coalescing into one. And if we find that there is ample participation and attendance, we could maybe end up breaking it back up. Any other thoughts? Yeah, Denver, I'd, I'd agree with that. I mean, I. You and I have kind of been here from the beginning, and I think we've we have a lot of lessons learned now about having a lot of splintered work groups. And I think we don't have anything to lose by just kind of getting coming up under one roof now. Um, honestly, I think that would be more productive. Everybody's voices would be heard at a single time, and we wouldn't have to have multiple different sessions uh, trying to figure out what was said and what was discussed, right? Uh, but, you know, ha happy to, if we genuinely feel like preserving these two separate work groups like we have now, and then coming back together might still be the right approach. I'm, um, I'm open to that, but I think at this point, based off of what we've seen, um, I think one singular group, uh, where everybody can, you know, put forth their thoughts, document it, and then move forward might be the the most efficient way of going about things. Or well, give it two options or what they want to do, either the first one or plan option A or option B, whichever people decide is up to them under what's the best for them. Yeah. Yeah, whichever best there is a good way to suit about which one would you want to be one or two? It depends if how the people are attracted or is it comfortable to do one or two? Depends on the people with the decision. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be a little vote. So yeah. we'll vote on it today. Um, are there any questions, concerns, or other suggestions when it comes to our work group structure? What would the work group consist of if it's going to be just yeah. one full? Right. So under the definition, actually, I'm going to rely on Marion and Scott here, it still would be a work group, more informal setting. Right, and then we got to talk about the scheduling, like it would be monthly, every other month, how is everything working yeah. together, right? Um, that would be a question, right? Do we want to trust individuals with their talents to take on personal projects and bring them a report out, 
right? Is that that might be a more effective way, right? Where people are actually impassioned about the thing we're covering. And I'm so sorry, I'm putting my back to the camera here. Um, impassioned about the thing we're covering. Um, do we want to have, and granted, we can do that today where we break down a strategy, right? Um, and say, and, you know, in the work group, we can probably have fractions, like factions, right? Where like, Lenore, housing, really love that. And then Emma, I'm just saying, you're really like, yes, I love this idea for the Sully district. Let's go ahead. And Eddie's like, oh, me too, right? So you got me to do one little thing. So it's not like, you know. Can I ask what has been accomplished thus far in the established work groups? Yeah. So um, in the pit, and the PIT committee, we have, uh, well, as a larger committee, we've been able to support the penny. Um, in the PIT, we put our comments into um, the modernization plan of the code section for the county. Um, and we definitely were heavy on how they classify single uh, family homes, multifamily homes, um, a lot of requirements for that, um, as well as, hi. Hello. I'm gonna take a seat. Thank you. As well as, um, Um, a small business um, for classification. So that was a huge part of it. We also did a couple of testimony in that space. Um, we also gave some insights on zoning walls and changing um, that there. So that has been it. When it comes to the tow committee, mm -hmm. I don't think anything has been done. Okay. Which is why we're here having that conversation of what should we do. <laughs> Another guest in the room. Well, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Sam Niner. I represent the Springfield District um, under Pat Harity. Um, thank you. I brought my guest and another guest. Yeah. My dad and she is the lovely George Mason Transportation. Um, and so I'd love to her to have any input on going issues with transportation because I feel that her um, issues are very important. To George Mason, and I think that it's really important for young adults to understand how important transportation is for the county wide. I mean, we're going to make like a formal presentation and conversation because today we're, as you saw with the agenda, we're focusing on work groups. So, yeah, I'm happy to have you here, but in the future, as we're coming, talking about transportation, that would be great. Can I get your name, sir, since you're part of our public? Tom Becker. Thank you. <laughs> So, so Sam, we still have you as our secretary, but I know we haven't really got minutes yet. Are you comfortable taking on the secretary role yes. or do you want to pass that over? I'm comfortable. Okay. Um, I will allow you to take over from now on. So I have um, our attendance, our guest, our timing for the bylaws so that we already passed that are new requirements for secretary. So I want to review that, make sure you're okay. Would it? So much. Of course. Let me just report back. You're okay with that. Um, up to this point, we've been able to rely on video um, transcriptions. Of course. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All okay, right, so going back to the work group conversation of breaking down into one, using individual talents and having factions therein. Is there any further comments or questions about that? Are there any other proposals for structure? Hearing none, do we all agree that there's an objection to dissolving multiple work groups into one super work group? Can I say something? Yeah. I'm not sure if we do it to one, but if we do it to one, that makes sure that what we're not going to talk about into one section, what we're going to talk about the whole section, or what are we talking about from just one section? Yeah, and so that's why I know before yeah. was tapping into individual pal uh, talents and having factions type of thing, yeah. uh, where people are like, oh, like you bring up a Sully district yeah. policy point, which really like resonates with me and my talent and my background, and we yeah. can work together. Yeah, so we're working together. We're not just doing Sully district. We are one big county. Yeah. Like Sully, Kipman, and Bainsville, Hunter mm -hmm. Mill, Braddock, Springfield. We just take the mountain we just take the Mason district. We are part of that working together. All right, I would love to have a yeah, verbal vote 
on having the super group, just so it's for the record. Um, any further discussion? Okay, awesome. Hearing none, all those in favor of into dissolving to one group? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Awesome. Thank you for allowing me to have that on the records. We all know everyone is on board, so I passed unanimously. Um, great. So now I get to have to talk about frequency. And I am blanking on what we discussed last meeting when it says frequency. I thought we said general YAC every other month uh, or groups every month. Is that what we do? We do that or do we alternate? I think it was. There was the discussion of alternating and and whether it was a and regular then, meeting and then a work group or yeah I know there's a meeting quarter. like if we're going to be in person we might as well make it work a while mm -hmm. an hour yep. work a while so do we want to do every other month two hours I would likely prefer every month just for continuity sake okay every month two hours. I suppose, I mean, or we do an hour then, but yeah, to get, yeah, one person. Yeah. Okay, I see something. Well, if, how long would they get going? Doing 90 minutes, so like a uh, topic depends how long is needed. You never know if it lasts long, though. You never know if lasts long if people want to ask questions or that. Yeah, so um, our general meetings, we try to keep to an hour, but as yeah. folks have seen with our guests, sometimes there's an hour and 15, an hour and a half. I don't think we ever actually have to look at an hour and a half. But we've had some really great guests um, and presentations. Um, so that's a conversation, right? We try to keep it to a strict hour to respect our timeline um, and to respect the guests that present. Yeah, and the work groups have historically been about an hour. So yeah, I don't know, like, I think two hours is worth our time mm -hmm. driving out. I mean, I'm not that far, I'm confident sort of. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's different. You know, you can drive or take the bus or Uber, whichever you can get to point A to point B. Yeah, for clarification, oh, sorry. Uh, for clarification, is it two hours for the working group or two hours the meeting plus working group? Maybe, uh, it would be meeting plus working group, and that would be every other month. Uh huh. Or we can make, I mean, we can do a 12 hour work session, <laughs> right? So like we are not bound by any structures outside of y'all's personal time commitments um, and expectations. So, I mean, it could be, you know, I'm just trying to gauge what we're talking about right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, so it's basically how do we want to handle work group meetings with general body meetings and recognizing that our general body meetings is mostly education and then approval of what the work group does. Okay, I understand that. I think my question was, what are you proposing with the two hours? I don't know how to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I'm fine to do every other month for two hours. I like the idea of chunking it to two hours, especially if we're in person. Okay. I do I I do like continu continuity of every month. Um, you know, for the committees that I work with, we do every month and I think it helps long progress, but if ultimately you want to do every other month, I have no objection. The other piece too is that the general work groups, once the emergency is lifted, the general, not sorry, general work groups, but the general sessions should primarily be in person and then have those expectations that you can miss a couple or do some virtually. The work groups don't necessarily have that same expectation. So if you're doing say, two hours when you're coming for your general meeting and then a work group time, if there was a need for consistency to maybe add another work group mm -hmm. on an off month, you could do that. And you could also do that maybe electronically. So maybe it's a shorter time to carry some of that consistency and give you that, um, that balance perhaps. And I guess, depending on the structure, now that we've combined these two subcommittees, would it be something where we would want to maybe do an extra work group time and alternate between if we're still looking at these two buckets of issues? Right. And that might help fix the size there. 
Sure. Right. And it might not be as macro as we've been talking, but like what is coming down the Fairfax County budget, like pipeline in the next three months? Rather than let's talk about talent, right? Like right. what is coming up, mm -hmm. right? right? Can we influence versus like, let's have this macro idea of like right. bringing all these people from talent and coming in and talking about it, right? Which we can still do, right? But I feel like we've gotten stuck at this dream level mm -hmm. and missed out on actual practicality, actual, you know, deliverables. Online, how are you thinking? I think, um, the every other month to our general body work group um, is definitely something I would prefer. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to kind of comprehend what the like the higher frequency of the. I, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around what the monthly meetings would involve is because I I know we're dissolving the two other uh, separate right. work groups into one right so I'm. I guess I'm struggling to understand what what we would be doing in those monthly meetings. Yeah, yeah. So I what I'm hearing is we like the chunk of time. We're having in person two hours every other month. We'll have the official in person work group. If we recognize that you know Fairfax County just released their legislative agenda and comments are due by November first, we have to have a work group meeting or November fifteenth. We have to have a work group meeting in November, right? right? So we would schedule that as an ad hoc put something together and then go forward. So that would be like put a soft hold mm -hmm. every month and put a hard hold for two hours every other month. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? No, and I and and honestly, I think just the every other month cadence kind of prevents, frankly, burnout. Right, like the general churn that we've seen in in the membership, I think had a lot to do, you know, with uh, kind of, you know just the 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 cadence we were keeping monthly. And I think um, you know every other month keeps it to a point where we can kind of allow everything to um, digest between meetings and then come to the next one prepared. Sounds good. All right, once again, I would like a recorded vote, even though it's not required, just to have it on the record. Any other points of discussion for, okay. Those in favor for having every other in-person meetings for a, for a block of two hours. So we meet on the third Thursday. This one is, yeah, the third Thursday of the month, two hours from seven to nine, um, with a soft hold for work group activities that can be Right, so the, the hard meeting is every other month, two hours, seven o'clock. Yeah. So no in person here or virtual? I'm confused. You will we do virtual or will be in person? Will it be a location for in person just in case? It will be here? Yes. Yeah. Or the Fairfax County Government Center or wherever. Or wherever you want to. Yeah. Because we definitely <laughs> have any to give in my district, in my office, or whichever office you want to go to, depends. Yeah. Um, I think this is rather central to most votes. Uh, slowly, I mean, yeah, you're probably what the 25 minute well, bus ride. I have no idea. Okay, if I live close to me, a fair fix close to me there, mm -hmm. you might this too. No one else. How do you get here to the to the to the mall? Because you guys live in different districts. How do you get here? Yeah, I think we drove or were driven. Yeah. About this location. Yeah. This location. Okay. If you have some different districts, you're going to have a hard time coming. How do you get here? How do you okay. get here to the center? One else is different. We are a big one county. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. And I believe um, there okay. are uh, uh, hardships with transportation. So if you have reliable, reliable transportation, that's an excuse that allows you, that doesn't hurt you, to join virtually. So if you don't want to take the bus, if that's not, you know. I think I want the bus. Okay, yeah, if you don't want to, right? Or if you if that's your main point of transportation, we know at night it can be less reliable. Um, you can join virtually under the bylaws. You just have to express that. No, that's okay. I can take the met I have metro access, Uber, okay. or whichever transportation I have. Good. Oh, sometimes I have a car. Sometimes, depending on, there's many options for me. Whichever is more, whichever is more comfortable, depend it depends. Okay. Transportation you need to fix. So it's going to be seven to nine.
Thank you. And just for clarification, with um, are we going to be on Zoom or are we still going to do Microsoft Teams? So we, um, before your arrival, you might want to take some documents here. We passed our new electronic meeting. We talked about it at the last meeting um, as well, um, which I, yeah. So those are the bylaws, so when you rent. What? Is it two or three? So there are more documents online, which you can read as well. So um, Scott sent out a link at one. So um, last meeting, which I know you were able to attend, um, we went over the uh, electronic uh, changes with the emergency status. Um, those are the documents that were provided in advance. I broke down how we will be meeting, um, and they were passed earlier. Yeah. So we get Fairfax County emails, or are we still using my personal emails? Thank you. Of course, yep. Um, any other questions? All right, all those in favor of meeting two hours every other month. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Awesome. So then I'll just kind of reiterate, if you're meeting six times a year in your general meeting, that would mean under the electronic policy you adopted, everyone could participate in two of those six meetings remotely, um, but they could not be back to back. Mm -hmm. um, and those are for the sort of unexcused absences or sort of those convenience purposes. If there are those excuses that are allowed under the policy, those wouldn't apply. And for the bylaws, we've not missed more than three meetings going forward. Um, three of the four. Well, it says in the year, so I guess we would recount in 2021 yeah. or 2020, 2023. Um, is it calendar year or is it? Is this a 12 months? Yeah. When was the first meeting of those? I mean, typically when we track those, it's kind of a calendar year. Yeah, we do the same yeah. thing and it's calendar year. I guess it's calendar system here. Which means next month will be the state. Yeah. So we will be meeting next month. The state, we don't know. Yeah, we will be meeting next month. So we'll be meeting in December. I thought it would be the 17th. It would be the 15th of December is so our next meeting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so use those excuses. We'll do calendar. Once again, as I noted to Eddie, um, we have only had to do a removal process once, and that was due to lack of communication um, with the council, with our staffer, with their district office. Literally, we went above and beyond um, doing welfare checks and everything else. Um, so um, yeah, just keep us informed and you know, please participate. We don't have to get too up on. Oh my God, I missed this meeting. It's fine. We'll, we'll make it work. All right. Um, anything else um, in regarding to work group structure, meeting structure, we would like to cover? Yes. I was hoping to get more in depth with um, college, I guess, with that type of structure. So if we can move into the educational base. So um, what you voted on previously is we no longer have the two subgroups. We have the one work group. Okay. So what we are going to, once this official YAC meeting ends, we will officially go into that, that first work group and do a strategic plan of what we want to do in the next few months and what topics we want to cover. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I guess it's the official meeting. Is there any other business, any new business? There's no old, old, old business is we have secretary. If you're okay with taking the duties, you have to yeah, do a little note when we are adjourning or I can continue to do the notes here as well. Um, and all that great stuff. We have a tendency to be our guest. I'll do a type. Do you like have a template from here going forward? Um, so secretary. Oh, so Sam wants to take on the duties of the secretary. Is the vice chair position open? We did that last meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, Sam is interested in the secretary. Uh, are there any other nominations for secretary? Yeah, YA council that Um, Yeah, we don't, that would not be, yeah, that's not us. 
Yeah, we don't have we are our website is through the county website. Oh. Yep. Um all right, any objections to Sam taking on secretary? Hearing none, congratulations. Um, once again, I'll do a template. Um, now it's per Virginia code with our structure, so we have to be very rigid um, and make sure we cover the experience. So, um, yeah. All right. Um, any other old business? Yeah, the only way we're missing is the Braddock District and who else? And Braddock and Providence. And George Mason. Yep, and then there's a Mason appointee that we are Providence. missing a Providence. Yeah. We are missing a Providence. So if you all know someone in Providence in Braddock, yeah. um, please let us know. Um, we can put them over to their mm -hmm. supervisor's office. Um, yeah, I mean we have no authority on who gets appointed, but we can definitely recommend. Um, and they're always looking for younger people because the majority of their VAC folks are on the fifty plus side of things. So. Um, yeah. All right. Any other business? Graphic, um, Genial, and Providence. I know Praveen. No, Pranav. Yeah. Thank you. Um, did we did we get notice from him? I don't believe so. Go back and look. I was very excited last meeting. Okay. Awesome. So at sub 49, we have no other further business. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll move. Is there a second? So uh, no, I'll take all of the second. That means you're all in favor. All right, all those in favor of adjourning. All right, so those abstentions. Awesome. So our, oh, Jeannie, are you talking? No, I was going to say hi. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. Um, so our official YAP meeting is now resolved and adjourned. We are now going into the work group. Um, so we're the work group, we don't need minutes, but I'm going to take notes anyway, um, just so we have a record.